It's like you were in a Berlin nightclub and then you got stuck in the bathroom. Welcome to Odometer Dave. Today we're going to look at two Class C RVs from Winnebago, the Navion and the Porto. We thought it would be interesting to compare these two because the Navion is in the top tier of Winnebago's Class C's and starts at about 160, and the Porto is in the second tier of Class C's and it starts at about 125. First up is a 2020 Navion with the 24D floor plan, and it's built on the newer Mercedes Sprinter chassis, which we'll talk about a little later. Ooh, chassis. When I was a kid growing up in Alaska, I remember seeing all the Winnebago's on the highway and always wishing we could have one because I loved the name so much. I actually had a friend, Joanne, whose dad had a Winnebago and he would drive us to Michigan, my new fantasy home, uh, on the weekends. I really like the size of the Navion. It doesn't feel overstuffed. And the colors and the graphics on the outside are pretty understated for an RV. Wow, you think that's understated. At first, the ladder didn't seem very useful to me, but you could certainly check on your solar panels and also just lay up there and look at the stars. Storage, generator. Oh, and I love that there's a garbage can on the door. And at first we were confused because we couldn't find a screen door. We looked around a little bit, though, and discovered that it has a sliding screen. Oh, right here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. But then we remembered the dog. Can Jane, or, oh my god, can Nola get <laughs> through that? Um, maybe. We'd probably yeah, put something in front of the door to keep Nola from rushing out to attack a squirrel or a rabbit. Um, wow, look at these cabinets. Wow. This is sleek. I like this color combo. I do too. I like wow. seeing some contrast in here. Yeah. Everything's not just a wash of, what is that color? Like beige. <laughs> but it's like, it's like gray beige. It's like, um, there's a word. Driftwood beige is what I would say. Yeah, these are huge. This is a TV, okay. I was like, boy, that's a big microwave. Uh, nice storage, great counter space. Yeah. And look at the size of the sink. Residential faucet. Oh, it's two sinks, oh, it's two, come sink. on. Really? I was not expecting that. That's fantastic. That's really nice. If you are traveling with, um, uh, like we always travel with a five gallon thing of water because I don't really like to drink the water that <laughs> comes through here. <laughs> Let's not talk about that right now. Yeah. But um, you can keep one of your five gallon things just in there when you're riding, which seems like a small thing, but it's a, it's a big thing. No, it's a big thing. Nice. Wow. Great you open the storage, other one yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so it's... That's locks it. Yeah, so it's you do that and then you pull it open. Yeah. Yeah. Storage, water filtration, so you mm -hmm. can drink the water. Okay, still not gonna drink the water. So it looks like there's a screen that comes down. I'm guessing it's an awning style window, it looks like it. Yeah. Wait, okay, so I do that. That's your screen. Okay, so I've opened the window, I've got my screen, then I'm like, no, I'm done with that. I'll just conveniently, now I'll just open that, and then this guy will come up because I want privacy. Yeah. And can I have just a little privacy? Yep. I guess so. I could have total privacy. Almost top down, bottom up. Yeah, that's pretty nice. What is this? Is that um, just a protector? Is it a hood? I assumed it was like a fan. It must be just a protector, yeah. Okay. It's like a glass shield for um, to protect from splatter. Induction stove top and gas stove, so you can choose. Oh, so that is nice. Direct and instant heat transfer, rapid cooling for safer handling, minimal energy output, exact temperature settings, timer setting. Peel sticker off before using. 
And then this. That is all the stove I That's need. That's great. Um, and the huge drawers. And they're lit, which is really nice. Oh, yeah, it's automatically lighting yeah. up when you open. That is yeah, nice. that's really nice. Uh, stay off all beds, okay. So Murphy bed, looks like pops down. It actually looks pretty, um, like, straightforward. Yeah. Which is this nice. It's a little weird to me. You've got, like, this couch, and then you've also got the dinette, which is a very similar function. Winnebago actually offers three floor plans for this model. So there's this one that we just looked at, and that's got that big slide out, and there's the sofa, which turns into a Murphy bed, and then the dinette. And then there's this one with a much smaller slide out, but it has two twin beds at the back that you can also turn into a much larger bed. And I kind of like that. Um, this one... It's attractive that there's a big bed there in the corner, but if I'm the one sleeping on the other side, that's a little awkward for getting out of. And here's a 360 from the Winnebago site of that last floor plan. You can see the bed at the back and the dinette in the slide out at the right. I really like this layout yeah, a lot I more. Yeah, I like that too. It gives a lot of space and it separates the front and the back really well. Look at those nice cabinets. So the bathroom is right next to the bed. That's a downside to this one, potentially. Yeah, it feels a little cramped back there. Maybe it wouldn't feel that way. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of the setup in our Cruise America rental. And that bed was tight, but it was also nice and cozy. I liked it a lot. And I like that the microwave is across from the kitchen. I, I think that's sort of that three-point triangle plan, right? <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's time for a subscription break. Yeah. Please subscribe if you enjoy watching these videos. Hit the notification bell and uh, the other things that we're supposed to do. The like button. And like the like button. button. Also, please leave us a comment uh, if you have any questions about what you've seen. Or find us on Instagram and Facebook at Odometer Dave and at odometerdave.com. Okay, the fridge. Pretty roomy. Good size freezer, yeah. Yeah. Fridge part. Yeah, very roomy. And then more, I don't think this would even need to be pantry because I think there's plenty. Well, I guess this could be pantry or. I'd put all, the food I'd put all my there, food over yeah. there and I would think of this more as, I don't know, like clothing, toiletries, but I guess clothing probably goes, there's, there's a bit of storage behind the Murphy bed. I guess I would see this more as clothing storage, which, yeah, does make those drawers kind of weird. I haven't weird. seen any hanging storage yet, which I expected right. to be in the, those corner cabinets. Yeah. The bathroom is just fine. There's a, there's a reasonable shower. There's a nice big window. Nice little medicine cabinet. Oh, here's your hanging storage, Dave. Oh, okay. Take a look at that, because it's quite roomy. It's pretty roomy for such a small one. Hanging storage. It's cute, the little Winnebago towel hook. Got a skylight over the shower. Bathroom. Yeah. Bathroom at the back. That's nice. Oh, it does flip up. So it flips up and then. And then you. Maybe you take the cushions. That cushion pulls off, helps you form a bed, maybe? Maybe. It looks like that could all convert into maybe a double Another bed. Okay. Maybe but that's queen. kind of handy, maybe, or something? Just. Again, though, so you've got a bed there, and then right next to it would be your Murphy bed. Right. This is not and what we would be using. Okay. Right, because yeah. we'd only need one bed, so we'd use that. Yeah. This this might be nice for dogs. Yeah. One husky on this side. 
one husky on that side. Although these are more Rhodesian Ridgeback puppy sized, I think. Is there a catch on this side, or do you just lift it up more and then does it fall down? Maybe? I don't think we're supposed to be doing this, like using stuff. Uh, can we just like walk yeah. out? Okay, because that's for demonstration. I'm doing them a favor. And before we get to the Porto, we'll take a look at the Navion's cab. It has a 10 inch touch screen, has navigation, Wi Fi, uh, voice control and adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, active braking assist, rain sensing wipers, and a lot more USB ports. And now here's the Porto's cab, which is the previous generation Sprinter chassis. And it has a smaller screen and it also lacks some features like uh, the rain sensing wipers and traffic sign assist and attention assist. And it doesn't have nearly as many USB ports. Oh, and this doesn't have those cup holders and things that they have in the other it one. It might pop out. There might be pop out cup holders. Meh. Yeah. I'm guessing this unit must have been caught in the transition to the new chassis because the Winnebago site actually has the Porto as being built on the new Sprinter chassis. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're in the market for a new model. Uh, this has a nice little hollow in there for dish cleany thing. Oh, spices. And then two sinks. That's nice. Once again, yeah. that makes a big difference. TV, not a microwave. And then, wait, is this? Oh. Whoa. I, yay, yay. Okay. Oh, it's interesting. No, it's great. More storage. Yeah. It just feels a little scary to be like yeah. opening your... We weren't as impressed by the cabinets in the Porto and the appliances were all older models. And even though we weren't crazy about the design, we did like the layout in this one a lot more than we did in the Navion. The Porto comes in two floor plans. The 24P puts the bed and the fridge and the dinette in that nice long slide out but that may also limit the usefulness of the bed if the slide needs to be kept in. And then here's the 24F floor plan, which has a smaller slide out and puts the narrower bed into the back corner. Both floor plans also offer this theater seating, but the TV is mounted so high that I don't think it'd really be very comfortable. Plus you lose some of the functionality of the double-sided dinette. Our big takeaway with the Porto is it just didn't seem to be made as well as the Navion. And in fact, it reminded me of our Cruise America rental, which was also manufactured by Winnebago. And there are just a lot of little things with the fit and finish, and the materials just aren't as nice as the Navion. But in the end, you really just have to weigh what's important to you. And with a show price of less than $86,000, this might be a great deal for someone. Thanks for watching. We will be back next time with more walkthroughs from the Greater Chicago RV Show. Maybe even one with a kitchen island. Bet you didn't know they made those. <laughs>